Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this abstract loop in Blender. So let's get started. Add a plane and go to geometry nodes and click on new. Delete the group input and add a grid. Set the size to 35 and the vertices to 100. Add a transform node. Let's also add a set position node. Now we need an extrude mesh node. Add a position node and a normal node. Add a vector math node. Set it to normalize and duplicate it. Plug the position in here and the normal in here. Duplicate one of these nodes and set it to add. Plug this vector into this one and this one into this one. Now plug the vector into the offset of the set position node. Let's also take the position and plug it into the offset of the extrude mesh node. Duplicate the add node and set it to sign. Duplicate one of the normalized nodes and put it here. And duplicate it again and put it here. Set this one to tangent. Now set one of them to scale. Plug the vector of the sign into the normalize and the vector of the normalize into the scale. Go here and open the timeline. Make sure the plane is selected and select the transform node and keyframe the rotation. I'm going to set the end to 150 and the frame rate to 60. Go to frame 151 and set the size to 360 and keyframe it. Go here, press A and T and make it linear. Add a set material node. In the material properties, click on new and select the material here. Now let's save. In the shading tab, go to rendered view. I'll put a link to the HDI that I'm using in the description. Go to the render properties. I'm going to use Eevee for this. Enable ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections. Under color management, you can set the field transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast if you want to. Make sure to set this back to the default values before compiling the images. Here, let's set the metallic to 1 and the roughness to 0. Add an emission node and let's also add a mix shader. Plug the emission into the top socket. Now add an ambient occlusion node. Plug the color into the base color, into this color and into the factor here. Press shift and drag click drag over here. Add a color ramp. Set the black to 0.2 and the white to 0.8. Here let's also check inside, go back to layout mode, if the plane selected go into edit mode, press A and delete on the numpad and 1, and now 4 3 times and 8 twice. Go back into object mode, hit shift A and add a camera, press ctrl alt 0 and press G and set twice to move it on the local z axis. And now press G and Y twice to move it like this. These are the coordinates I'm using for the camera. I just realized that the animation was too fast, so I went back to geometry nodes to frame 151 and set the set to 90 and keyframed it. Let's save again and press F12 to render one of the frames. Close this window and go to compositing. Add a color balance node. Control shift click on the node. Make sure that the use nodes is enabled. I'm going to make the lift a light blue the gamma a light pink and the gain a slightly darker blue. Go to the output properties and select an output folder. I'm going to use JPEG with the quality set to 100%. Save again and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you liked this tutorial then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.